Welcome to the N5 XHI workshop. As you can see, we are not in the workshop today. We are actually in the cantina because I am making chicken parmesan in the crock pot. Donald Matthew, stay away. The reason we're here today is actually because of uh, a young lady and a contest or a, a competition going on uh, from Brenda Gibson. She actually sent us some spinner gourds. Oop, can't really see them very good. Sent me a whole box of them. And we'll be doing a project with those, me and my wife, Linda, N5XHI. But first, I want to tell you what we did this weekend. We went to a seminar or a show in Waco, Texas called SWAT. It is a turning symposium. We had a lot of fun and met a lot of people. We did buy a few things. Oh boy, our bank account is empty now. We bought a mandrel for some honey dippers and also, well, here's the honey dippers. Honey dippers? And also for some stoppers. We also bought some pin kits to turn on the lathe and some mandrels for those pin kits. We also spent some money on a vacuum vacuum uh, chuck system. And also we did get some free stuff. Had a gentleman distribute or showing off a, uh, a bandsaw jig for cutting uh, inlay and uh, thin wood. So we uh, asked him if we can have some of the walnut strips that he cut off. And uh, he gave us some of the uh, strips that he cut off, which I will be using in our project. But now to the project. The gourds. The gourds. And a whole box of gourds, even though we're only going to use one. I made my pattern. I have my pattern. I cut out some wood on the scroll saw, which will go into depth on that. I can't hold the camera by myself, so I couldn't show you the scrolling. A box of toothpicks. Some knitting thread for some string art. And of course, my favorite tacky glue. We might get a little sticky here. <laughs> but we'll show you our project as we go along. This is actually the uh, basket on the balloon that I'm actually knitting. Or actually, I don't know if they call it knitting. It's just a string art. String art and knitting thread. And all I'm doing is just uh, going in and around the toothpicks in and around the toothpicks and just kind of building it up to actually put the top of the gondola together and glue it together and then we'll put the uh, a gourd on top and then we're actually put some more string art on the top to actually look like a uh, hot air balloon. We've got the uh, string art tied together uh, my wife Linda put the cap on the gondola. We'll be using tacky glue to glue it on and just put a little bit on each one of the toothpicks. Yeah, just not much. Yeah, just another because it, it's going to ram down in there. 
Um, and it's probably be a little messy, but hey, that's life. And then take the cap and just push it down there all the way onto the top of the string. Ooh, let's see. I think let's look at it. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think, Linda? Think that looks good? Mm hmm Okay. We're just going to now just kind of clean it up and we'll... Uh, go from there. Thank you. I've cleaned up the toothpicks off of the top and bottom of the gondola and that's what it looks like and I'm about to install the hardware these little eyelets three of them and that will actually support the um, rope or the actually the, the thread for the uh, onto the uh, cord. Welcome back. This is my wife and beautiful bride, N five XHK, and we have uh, got the gourd all cleaned up and shiny. Got the gondola on. She has put the first uh, string art or the first tackle on the top. And she's going to do three colors. And uh, let's see if we can find the colors. There's the other two colors there. We're going to put on there. And we've already put that uh, one pink. So she's going to show you how she did this. So... This is a fun little project. She's already cut the string to a certain length. Hopefully I'm not real shaky on the camera. She's tying it. And that's a little piece of the walnut uh, that we got from SWAT that I was telling you about earlier. And I just cut uh, some 332nd holes in it. And uh, the size of the toothpick used the same bit. And I'm going through those holes. And uh, she's going through the holes. And then I put it on the scroll saw with the 2 aught blade and cut it out. Taking a toothpick and actually pushing the uh, thread through, it's, uh, they call it a crochet thread. It's a real light knitting thread. We've used it for some other string art projects in the past for some of the kids at church. And I'm trying to keep it centered. As you can see, she's moving it all around. She's going back through the eyelet. Oop, up and down. I'm hoping I'm not getting you seasick, or in this case, airsick. We were really surprised that we've never used the gourd before. We were really surprised how easy it was to clean that uh, gourd up. We just took it over the sink with a little hot soapy water and uh, took one of the, you know, the green sponges you use in the kitchen and just scrubbed it off and it's gorgeous. Something simple. We'll probably make some. Maybe I'll make some more of these for uh, to make them uh, a mobile. Yeah, we're thinking about making a mobile, but I think 
since we're having a uh, well, grandson, I don't know be, if pink it, is the perfect be, color. It could be all, all kinds of, you know, different colors. Yeah, we can, we can go, we go get some more of this thread in some different colors. But we enjoy uh, turning and scrolling. And uh, I do like to do some 3D printing at our library. We have three printers at the library that I can use. And uh, since I'm a uh, resident of the city, uh, the filament is free. It's just we just got a two hour time limit and we can use it, uh, I think, twice a week. But I think you're getting the idea. We'll go ahead and uh, pause it here until she gets uh, all three colors, and then we'll uh, come back and uh, show you the finished product and uh, submit it to um, Brenda G. Designs for the uh, gourd challenge this year. Here's the finished gourd. There's the basket weave at the bottom. And the little string art. Thank you, Brenda G, for allowing us to be part of your challenge. And thank you for visiting the N5XHI and also, because my wife's here, N5XHK workshop. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.